Um, so hey, welcome to Chicago. Thank welcome you very to much. Shubas. We've been here about a half hour. We pulled in and we're gonna do sound check and we're gonna go on and yeah, test it out. Yeah. So you just got into Chicago? Yes, and it's my second time here in Chicago. Yeah. How do you like it? You know, here playing at Shubas. Um, it should be fun. Uh, I've heard a lot about the place, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to meet the audience. So, this is your second time ever in Chicago? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I mean, I've been through Chicago get back past so This is the first time touring at Chicago? Yeah, playing in Chicago, yeah. It's America, yeah. But you toured in South Africa I and Australia? Australia. Yeah, uh, yes. And, uh, and Sweden and Namibia and but we're booked to do uh, a European tour. We're going to do uh, Amsterdam, uh, Dublin, Paris, Rome, Berlin, and London. And so we're, we're you know we're, we're on the road. So what I heard is that you're like. Elvis in oh, South Africa. Oh, geez, yeah, like no. you're, you're like. You're not Elvis, you're not Elvis, no, <laughs> no that's, that's what I heard. That you're like. <laughs> oh well. You're yeah. huge. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, overseas. Well, I can airplay over there. See, and the thing is, that's different. You know, if you and like that, so that's a little different. Because then the audience can, they know what you sound like, so they come out to the shows like that. So it's different overseas, and and and, and I'm trying to break into the American market. You know, so mm -hmm. so that's my uh, goal to. To break in there. Has anyone in South Africa ever told you like what your album has meant to them or oh. you know? Uh, we were in Cleveland, Ohio and we did a show and the thing is one of the uh, people in the audience was a professor uh, and uh, she said she heard the music in Angola where uh, she met, had a mate there and the thing is like that. So. Uh, we're reaching a lot of different uh, parts of the audience, you know. Uh, that's the Tao Te Ching, in my opinion, you know what I mean? The professor in the audience, who can't say. So we're reaching a lot of different, uh, you know, we're getting a lot of good receptions. Your most notable album came out in 1969? Yes, 69, and the other one was in 71, you know, like that. And, uh, yeah. Um, so uh, it's clearly last century, you know. What I mean? <laughs> yeah, but it's it's resurrected, so I'm very happy about that. You know? Well, why do you feel it took so long for your music to reach people? Uh, well, I don't have the answer for that, but I know that in South Africa it was uh, it was shared by the soldiers uh, in the field, and that they would pass the cassettes around, which was the technology of that time. So that's how I got around there. And in Australia, I got played by this guy named Holger Brockman, who played me, and then that resulted in my touring Australia for, in 79 and 81. So that's how that happened, you know, and that's the way you do it. You get airplay and try to get out there. So you, you talk a lot about the music business, you know, you try to get out there, you um, Get airplane things like that. Do you do you have a different feeling about music as a business versus music as an art form? Uh, and it's certainly an industry. And, and uh, I like the interview with the Stones that said when they said uh, when we started out there was no touring industry, and that's really it. It's it's been being created as as we go along. So uh, and through the internet, uh, we've been able to reach a larger audience and. Uh, which was impossible to reach before. And at the shows, they, they, they hold up their phones and everything, and they disseminate the, the, the information or the program like that. So they're more active than, say, someone just watching a show, you know? So that thing is, that's the difference. There's a, the technology has changed so much. Um, so I was listening to um, a piece that uh, NPR did on you. Oh. And you said nothing beats reality. Oh yeah. And uh, I just thought maybe you could expand on that and how that sort of mantra shapes your 
music writing? Well, the thing is, uh, I, I describe myself as, as urban as opposed to rural. And I'm, uh, nothing beats reality, it's just that it's, uh, it, at, at some point, you know, uh, there's no stop to pull you know, that kind of thing. The environment plays a real, you know, it's a factor. And the thing is, uh, and the powers that be and all that. So, yeah, really, it's like uh, the explanation is that uh, uh, there's a lot coming at us, you know, so we, we're, you know, a lot of stuff to sort out. But the thing is, is you only got so much time to figure it out. So, like that, it's like that, yeah. So that's how I express that one, yeah. So, Last question. Mm -hmm. I know you've been giving up for this one. <laughs> oh, what is it? What would you say to a young musician oh. trying to catch a break? Oh, dig it, man. You have to stay with it. You know, things are happening to me like it's like things are happening, but I've been at it a long time. See, I've been at this thing for a long time. And, uh, well, they say do something you love. And the thing is, and there's, there's plenty of room up there for young talent, new talent, uh, it's called artistic development. There's, and there's more places to play, and you don't have to worry about the domestic market because you can take your talents overseas. You can. There's so many more opportunities, and you don't have to have, have the best song. You can put it in the best-selling DVD or something. See, there's so many more configurations in music that you can put your stuff through. So that's what I would tell them is. You gotta do everything else too, it's, and that's, that's called internship. You gotta, it all helps. It, uh, you'll learn patience and all that stuff, you know. So it all works. And the thing is, yeah, there's plenty of room for just uh, young bloods to get the music, you know. Yeah. Well, great. It's needed too, you know. That's all I got for you. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. The mafia's getting bigger, like pollution in the river, and you tell me that this is where it's at. It's easy, music is easy, you know. It's like, uh, war is easy, peace is harder, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah.